That's a 1998 Lamborghini Kauchak. Easy, are you looking at that? Oh, gosh. good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Macon Auctions here in Central Florida. I am super excited to be here, and I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to the day. Today, we're checking out this amazing spot. Huge thank you to my friends at Macon Auctions for inviting us out and checking out one of the largest car auctions that I've ever been to. I am super excited about this. We're checking out some, some more recent cars, some just kind of standard cars that you see on the road, all the way to these <laughs> Ferraris, Lamborghinis. Is that a Bentley? There's a lot to see. There's also a whole auction block. There's a special like racing challenge we're going to be doing. We're, we're going to be seeing it all today. Let's just dive right in because I'm already getting super excited. Correction, even before I get into it, several times throughout the vlog, I am saying Macon uh, auction. It's Meekin. Meekin auction. Now we know. Good to know for the remainder of the vlog. Here we go. There's so much to see. There really is one of the ones that caught my eye just as I was coming in is the amazing looking Rolls Royce. This is the saloon, the 19, is it 37? Yep, 37 Rolls Royce saloon. Look at this. I mean, this is unbelievable. It, I believe, is the same type of car used in Goldfinger. I think so. I think it is. I think it's the same kind of car that they use in the movie, and it is absolutely gorgeous. This is just one of thousands, I mean thousands of cars they have here around the making auctions. Look at this beauty right here, 2008 Lone Star Shelby Cobra. This is the real deal. I know that there are some fakes out there. This is the real thing. Check that out. Oh my gosh, look at the look at the shifter knob right there. That is gorgeous, along with the wood paneling that you can see right up in front. I mean, look at this car. We, I mean, obviously they don't have any pricing for it, but the auctioneer will know how much it goes for. And we're gonna check out the auction block in a bit. There's so much to do here. We're just, we're just exploring cars to start it off. And we're gonna go and see a lot more. I'm going into it not knowing so much. I spoke to my friend here at Bacon Auctions as we walked in. But you see standard cars. Here's a Ford Super Duty 250 right here that's just gonna be auctioned. Which is pretty cool, and you have to wonder, you know, where, oh wait, that's a, that's a Maserati, and this is a Bentley, right next to the Chevy. You see that? So it's like they, they've got so much variety here. It's like you come and pick your favorite car and, you know, auction. 1957 Buick Super. Check this one out. Look at the huge Buick right up front there. You can see that little Target uh, thing they put there, right on the hood, the hood ornament there. I love that one. It goes all the way down. Gorgeous interior. Everything is kept so well. There's even dice in the mirror there. Did you catch that? Love it. Now, as we're just getting started here, there are a lot of sections of the Make Em Auctions here. They got the road art display, they've got the food court, of course, got a lot of different car displays all throughout the auction block. And of course, we're gonna get that uh, Dodge Thrill Ride later in today. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it all. We're actually headed towards the auction block now. I know I gotta pass by some of these cars. Just head in that direction just to check it out. I can actually hear them starting to uh, announce something. David and others, that takes some skill. Iron hear that? Oh, here's a Winnebago. This is beautiful. 1970 Campmobile Volkswagen. I love it. You can see inside, I saw a Mickey. It caught my eye right in there. Check that out. Gorgeous, gorgeous Mickey there. You can make this into your camper and your home. It actually continues up into the top of the car. I love that one. 1940 Ford Coupe. Say to yourself, Michael, what's so special about it? It's the paint job. And it looks awesome. You can see two seats in there for the coupe. Really sloping edge right there. 1940, and I love the rear right here. That's gorgeous. The variety here is just oh, 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 oh. I have to stop where everybody's taking photos. And all of a sudden, I want to start bidding. This is a 1978 Lincoln Batmobile replica, and they have done an amazing job with the replication here. Look at the interior here, you can see they've even got the emergency bat turn lever. I love that. The uh, bat fire extinguisher. <laughs> the dashboard is beautiful. There's a start button right up there. This is an absolutely incredible replica. Again, not the real thing. It is a replica. But imagine just like driving around town in this amazing Batmobile. -na 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 -na. I mean, I would be loving it. You just love it. I was looking around and of course I like the super special fancy replica cars, of course, but they've got just like a standard 2013 Audi A8, which was used in the original transporter movie. MSRP over 88,000 is what it says. Don't know what it'll get in the auction. You can see the interior, beautiful. Looks a lot like that transporter car that we know from the movies. Oh, they even got the special seat 
seat uh, buttons back there, probably for seat warmers, different climate control. Check out the 1977 Jimmy Casagrande here, 4x4, 1977, again, a little older, but you can see it's basically the RV of the past year. They got a table in there, and of course the uh, top area kind of expands, so you got tons of extra space up above, tough to tell through the window there, but you can just walk around in there, no problem, and you don't take up nearly the space that an RV would. Just a moment ago, I heard the uh, Dodge Experience here, you hear that? Down there? It's uh, meant to show you the power they have in the Dodge. That's cool. We're gonna try that out in a little bit. I hear them, oh my gosh, did you see that? Oh my gosh! And apparently we're gonna try that? The Dodge Thrill Ride. That's awesome. I was not adding any sound effects there. That is simply coming from the Dodge tires. That's incredible. Now I'm getting a better understanding of what this place is all about. We're now in the Nashville original low mileage collection, right? So this is all about the Nashville cars. You can see they've got a lot of them, a lot. Check out this 1987 military General Humvee here. You can see it's used by the United States Marine Corps. That is awesome. Just imagine. Wow, that, is that a, yeah, that looks like a 50 cal in the back. I doubt it's real, but I can see there's at least one 50 cal back there. Hard to imagine that you can just buy this thing. I mean, obviously I think it'd have to be registered for street legality, but uh, yeah, that, uh, I don't know what that is, but it looks like a 50 cal. It's definitely military equipment here. You know, if you're wondering about, you know, being able to tow something out of snow, there you go. I mean, you, you never have to worry again. Luckily in Florida, we don't have to worry about that, but most of, you know, the rest of the country's got some snow. Thinking to myself, oh, that's perfect. Just pull yourself right out of the snow, no problem. The Cobras are always so amazing to see. I just love them. You can see 1965. This is a replica of the uh, Shelby Cobra. 1965, again, beautiful red color. I, you know, you don't know if it's, uh, if it's a build, or if it's just kind of a replica that's purchased, but it's gorgeous. Now, in addition to all the cars that they have here, and there's so many more to see, look at these bikes right here. This BMW looks fantastic. I've never seen one quite like it before. It's got that super large sidecar. 2008 Buick K1200 with sidecar. Beautiful. No reserve on that one. Harley Davidson 2008 Street Glide Trike. It's a three-wheeler. It's kind of like a Can-Am. I know the Can-Ams, but I've never seen a Harley Davidson with the uh, three wheels. Oh my gosh, this is, <laughs> this is so funny. Wait a minute, we gotta check this one out. A 1998 VCYC Skull Trike with Coffin Trailer. You're checking this out, so this is the original. You have the skull right up front. There's your uh, first seat right in the middle. You can see there's a lot of buttons right there on the side. The helmet is a skull as well. Two seats in the back, and then go to the back here, that trailer is a coffin. No reserve on this one. That is quite fantastic. I can think of many friends who would love this trike right here. Can you imagine driving down I-4 in this thing with the trailer behind you. The trailer is just meant for its luggage, but it's shaped like a coffin. There's the engine right there on the back. That is really, really cool. Look at that hat up top. That's great. It looks like you can even play music in there. There's some lights. It looks like the side is for music. That's just beautiful. Okay, we've made our way to the Jackie and Gary Runyon collection. This is a really cool collection here. Check out this one right here. Caught my eye immediately. 2018 McLaren 720S. Beautiful, beautiful, I love it. White exterior, black interior with the silver trim right there. You can see on the inside, it's got the drive, neutral, and reverse. Has little buttons there. That is absolutely gorgeous. And it looks like, wait a minute, I'm trying to, see these little flaps right there? You can probably just come right up. I'm guessing create that uh, convertible top. It looks like it would make sense with the McLaren. 2017 Ford GT, that is gorgeous. Look at the blue and silver pinch stripes right there. Absolutely incredible. Now this is a very short car. When I mean short, I mean, okay, I'm six feet tall. This comes to close to waist height right there. It's a very low to the ground car, rear engine. This thing can move super fast for GT. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. I'm kind of excited to see what it goes for. And then right next to it, we got the Lamborghini race car. I, mean, I could just go, I could just keep going. I'm gonna go for a couple of my favorites here. I'm gonna check out that auction floor, but my gosh. 2017 Ferrari 488 Spider. Look at this, this is gorgeous. Which one do you like best? I, I can't decide, I really can't. 3.9 liters, 661 horsepower between 300 and $350,000. And I definitely think it will get it. That is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, the engine would be in the back here. Look at the whole thing. I mean, I'm in love with these cars. I'm in love with them. I have never seen one in person. The 2019 Lamborghini Huracan, that is gorgeous. 296 miles on it. 
So it's, it literally has never gone off the lot, basically. $250,000 to $300,000 is expected. Beautiful convertible. Are you looking in there? That's just unbelievable. The idea that you could just like buy it right here from the auction block. I, I am going to be excited to see how much these go for. That's going to be really, really interesting. Now, this is a car you do not see every day. The 2016 Pagani Hydra, 725 miles on it. Okay, there's only 100 produced in the world. This is one of 100. I'm being super careful with this one, not to touch it. Between 1.8 and $2 million for this car. This is one that you really do not see. Uh, just, you know, obviously, it's because it's extremely rare. I mean, only 100 in the world, and one is sitting right here in front of us at the Make'em Auctions. I mean, that's, that is, I have never seen one before. That reflection is a little difficult to see through, but it is a beauty. Oh my gosh, I love it. You can see, look at the uh, single windshield wiper here. See how it's just one? Like, that's, again, something that's kind of unique. Just one that goes across. Usually most cars have two. Imagine two million dollar car sitting right in front of us. It's not just older cars. This is a 2021 Ferrari SF90 with 57 miles on it. Estimated around a million dollars for this Ferrari and it's gorgeous. I, I can't get over how some of these are just like right off the lot, brand new. Others of them are like antiques. You got your variety here. Look at this, we can actually see the engine. Through there, you see that? I'm guessing it's a 12. That's gorgeous. Don't ask for the miles per gallon, by the way. 986 horsepower. It doesn't say miles per gallon because you don't care when you have that car. Don't ask about the miles per gallon, by the way, on that car. 960 horsepower. I mean, yeah, at that point, you do not care about miles per gallon. Another extremely rare custom, 1931 Packard Custom 8 Roadster, one of 154 made. It, the, 154 of these made in the entire world, and one of them's right here. I still can't get over that. That's just gorgeous. Look at the uh, the dashboard right there, the wood trim. Can you see that? That is just amazing. You can see, I, I don't know if it's like faux wood or real. I'd imagine it's real, but this is an amazing classic right here. And here's where the, uh, the top would come up right there. It hides in there. And it comes on top. Even if it's hiding, it looks really good. If you're looking for like a really specific car, like you've always wanted a 1992 Ferrari F40, where else are you gonna go but here to find it? That's my question. Like I love this car. This is like one of those ones that you have up in your in your room when you're a kid. Three million dollars right there. I I've had a poster with a Ferrari that's just like this. I've had that poster. How are we gonna get 1.81 gigawatts? I mean, I, I do not know how we're gonna do it, but you can see in the uh, DeLorean right here, 1981, beautiful DeLorean DMC12 from Back to the Future. Here's the engine right there in the rear. It looks really, really nice. It's really well maintained, just beautiful. Now we're a little bit early for the auction, even though you can hear them, it's not for the cars we're seeing. We're gonna check it out real fast before it officially starts. You can see what they're bidding right now. It's that little uh, boat right there, that little red boat, you see it? That's what they're bidding for right now. The cars haven't started, the boats are here. That was really incredible. Those auctioneers know exactly what they're doing. Right now they're selling those uh, little small boats. It's really cool going for like $700, $1,000. They were going up there, but they were very unique boats, which is pretty cool. So now we're actually gonna continue making our way around, get our bearing a bit more, see these cars, and then more of the auction. Now I'm finally getting my bearing. This is tent number seven. So it's all kind of set up like a big uh, carnival. It's really cool because you got different tents for different types of cars you've got. Seven is the main attraction display which is where we are here with the two million dollar Lamborghinis and Ferraris and you know just amazing cars here. We're gonna check out the outside tent. We saw the uh, auction floor. We're gonna get back in the auction floor once it officially starts with cars. Right now they're selling models which was awesome but we're gonna go check it out when they sell cars. NR no reserve. That means that this 2009 Mercedes-Benz CLK convertible which I mean it's a beauty. It's a beauty. It's a classic. I can see myself driving that. It can start at like one dollar. They're not gonna start it at $1 because that's, that doesn't make sense, but there's no reserve. So if no one bids, let's just say $10,000, they'll bring it down to nine and then eight, then maybe it's five. And then maybe start, people start bidding at five. There's no reserve on some of these cars, like eBay. I mean, eBay is a good example where you can, you know, some people have a reserve price where you can't bid underneath it. It'll just auto increase. Oh my gosh, is this an Amphicar? Yes, it is. This is an Amphibicar. The same one they use at Disney Springs, gonna go between 90 and $100,000. But this is one of the cars that can actually go in the water. You can see there's an extra gear shift in there to engage the propeller, which I have not checked yet. Should be right. Oh yes, you can see two propellers right under that. I was looking for one. There's two large propellers under there to propel you in the water. This is your car if you want to do road and water. 
That's cool. That's, I want to see how much that sells for, too. Check this out. A 2051 Ford COE Custom. Look at this. This is awesome. You can see it goes all the way down to the ground there, right? So here, I'm going to walk next to it here. There's my foot, and there's the step up. That's, that's really close to the ground. You can see it's got the... Uh, Kind of the wagon and there's a hold up right there with the wagon which is pretty cool see there's a window in the back here but this is gorgeous oh i'd love to open it but you can't you can see inside there's kind of like that padding and they're almost like a looks like a large cassette player from the uh, way back winds gosh that is an absolutely very unique gorgeous car and look at these rims right here looks a little bit on the spiny side but I guess that's that's meant to look that way. You're looking to get between 120 and 150 thousand dollars for this one. Now this is a great idea. This is a 1971 Chevy Corvette LT1, and I do not see a reserve on it, but there might be one. You never know. And then look over here. They actually have placed a mirror right underneath the car here, so we can very clearly see the engine. Now that is a very smart sales tactic, so that we know we don't have to look look under the hood or anything. Don't have to touch it. You can just see right from the mirror how that engine, at least underneath the engine, looks. That's so smart. 1959 Ford Fairlane 500's got the Galaxy Skyliner. This is an absolutely gorgeous car right here. Look at the paint job. Kind of the cream on top and the pink below and the white wall tires, which are gorgeous. All the uh, leather looks like it's been perfectly preserved in plastic here. And then look at that dashboard. Come on now. You, it, and even look, look at the, uh, the side view mirrors are controlled with a little manual handle there. This is an absolutely gorgeous one. Wow, just imagine. Look at those wings in the back there. Imagine driving down I-4 with this guy right here. This one is going to be sold on Thursday. It's a multi-day event, so if you're looking for a certain car, it might not actually go on the auction block until another day. So you do want to look at like the schedule in advance to have all that, but it, it goes over several days here. Even this, look at this. I mean, it's an older Porsche, but like, you, could, you could walk away with this Porsche right here. It's a 1987 911. Gorgeous. Check out this 1984 Laser 917 Porsche replica. Now, again, this is not the real deal, right? This is a replica, but it's so cool. So basically, they took the body here and they plopped it down on a different chassis. I spoke to another, uh, there's, I think, a dealer who was here who was talking to me, and we were talking about it, and he, he lifted this up. I'm not going to touch it, but he did. And you can uh, you can see that actually the whole thing sitting on a Volkswagen uh, chassis body it's very very interesting they just plop this on top but it's so cool imagine driving around with that guy i love the shimmering gold 1984 rolls royce silver spur look at this guy oh my gosh you can see the uh, the outside's got this amazing like gold touches to it really bedazzled car here looking for a bedazzled rolls royce this is your car right here oh cruella i found your cruella deville cadillac deville actually 1984 deville here no reserve on it you can see those leather leather interior which just looks incredible. It's got those horns up front, which I love. There's the uh, the rear with this separate piece right here, and then there is the trunk there. One of the cool things you may have missed is we were right by the front. You've got these little exhaust ports, which I'm guessing are just decorative. And then look at the horns right up front. You've got four of them lined up just like that. That is great. Look at this gorgeous Lotus right here. 20, 2005 Lotus Eclipse here, and it is a beautiful color. I know it's sitting in the sun, but don't worry, it won't be for long. There are a lot who, uh, who would uh, want to buy this car so don't you worry it will be purchased before you know it check out the 1937 ford roadster automatic here wow look at this again 37 you can see the leather interior looks new it uh has an amazingly like small dash just very little going on right there very clean very very stylish here love it a little dusty but I have a feeling this one's gonna be a very popular one. They don't sell them anymore, but the 2007 Hummer H2 Special Edition, right here, this is a gorgeous Hummer. You really, they don't sell them anymore. They are gas guzzlers, but my gosh, it's a big one, and it's really nice. <laughs> Dodge to ride a bet. Just about our time to go in there. This is going to be an incredible experience. Here's my shirt right there. It's going to be an amazing, amazing time. Woo. I'm ready. All right. 797. Just a red eye here. Red eye. Oh, man. This area, Florida. Oh, How long have you been doing this? Uh, this is my fourth year with Kyle. All right. Yes, I'm in your hands here. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Woo! Woo! Oh, my gosh. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Woo! 
<laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh, that was epic. Thank you very much. That was incredibly cool. 797 or whatever he said horsepower, which was amazing. We were just blasting, burning rubber the whole time. I've never done anything like that before and had so much fun. Wow. All right, now we're gonna get another view. He, uh, one of the managers here told me about a better view to, to see the cars going around here. We're taking a closer look. I cannot describe to you how incredible that was. That was unbelievable, amazing. I loved it. Loved every single second of the Dodge Thrill Ride experience. We were in the Challenger, which was the fastest car that they're currently uh, demoing here, which it was just an amazing, amazing time. Loved it. Now we're gonna check out more of the car auction and actually see how much some of these cars are selling for. And now I'm inside part of the convention center here where they've got some really amazing car memorabilia that they're selling. You can see they've got these signs, they got these little toy cars here. I love these little kid. They go in there, like a little pedal car. I love that. Then over here, I saw some of the neon signs. Look at this Chevy and Ford signs right here. These are incredible, wow. Okay, and hey, look at these back, the bikes, excuse me, Fat Tire Brothers right there. That is very, very cool. Ooh, cool, look at all these signs. Goodyear, a lot of great ones available for sale. And even some old, ooh, a root beer maker, a root beer dispenser. Wow, that is unbelievable. Ooh, there's even a, a slot machine. Wow. But you can see this uh, Mustang right here is going for 15,000, 25,000, it's continuing to go up. There's no reserve on this one, but it is a beautiful Mustang and it is being auctioned off right here. That is a very, very impressive, beautiful, beautiful car. It's estimated between 20 and 30,000. They're asking 30. Don't think they're going to make it though, because it's about to be sold. So you gotta push, they push the cars off and then they sell it. We're inside now looking at some of these amazing cars right here, all beautifully detailed. They're super shiny in here. Of course, one of the first ones I go for, the 2009 Lamborghini Murcielago Roadster. 3,400 miles on it, no reserve. Estimated between 220, about $250,000. Right here, look at the seat belts, look at the green interior and exterior. Look at this in the engine, of course, rear engine here. As it's ready to go on the racetrack. McLaren, 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 a lot of beautiful McLarens here. This is even a 2020 right here with 87 miles on it. That, that's how much, that's how much. It's, it's unbelievable, 225,000 or so for this unbelievable red and black McLaren. 1957 Chevy 150, beautiful, but it says Black Widow right there on the front. It's kind of cool, someone kind of themed it, not with our version of Black Widow, different, uh, different Black Widow I think they're thinking of, but you can see it's front and back seats, both immaculately taken care of. Gorgeous, I love those wings in the back. It's probably one of my favorite pieces of this one. <laughs> Batman, Batman, 1966 Yamaha Batmobile, replica. Not the real thing used in the movies, but my gosh, that is awesome. It even looks like this does eject. You can see it's on wheels right there. You see the little sidecar on wheels? That is just, uh, I want this. I think I like this Batmobile even better. 1977 Lincoln Batmobile replica, of course. And oh my gosh, look at this. There's Robin's signature on there. And look, just look at the bat phone. They've got the bat phone in there. <laughs> it's just, ah, oh, the bat seat belts. I mean, there's nothing missing from this incredibly beautiful Batmobile. I just, I want it. I, I, I want to drive this down I-4. That's, that's one of the coolest I've seen. I know we've seen Lamborghinis and Ferraris and McLarens and, yeah, but come on, Batmobile. Batmobile. Food court time, and I'm seeing a lot of good options, including Boar's Head and, ooh, Jimmy Ben's Barbecue. That sounds good, but we're here for Chick-fil-A. Yum, Chick-fil-A. I'm so glad that they have some vendors here for lunch. We have the spicy chicken sandwich. Some, uh, I've never seen the Chick-fil-A chips before. Maybe I've just never gotten them, so I know about it. And lemonade. All looks good. We're gonna eat up. Looks like they're taking a pause in the auction, which is perfect. Then we'll get back in there and see some of these cars go through. Moved outside here because they're about to start the auction again. You can hear the music going. One of the things that I love about this is that this whole experience is meant for everyone. Every age group and every person who's knowledgeable about cars, right? So some people understand cars better than others. I, compared to everyone here, I don't know a thing about cars. I know a couple things here and there. But it's great that it's so welcoming. Like, you do not have to know anything. You can just come on in, you can see a little sign, it tells you what the car is, you know, you can, you can learn as you go. You can come in and learn. 
one of the things that I really do like about this. It's so nice. Great for the whole family. 1936, white model 706 Glacier National Park tour bus. This is a very unique piece here. No reserve here. Look at this. It's just like a gigantic red tour bus with the original seats, the uh, dashboard, all original right there. They got a letter from the owner. That's cool. You can see, look at how many rows. One, two, three, four. Is this a fifth one back here? No, it's the trunk. Four rows. That's a gigantic tour bus here. I love it. I, I, I love it so much. I don't know what I'd use it for, but I love it. Look at these incredible race cars here by Pennzoil. Tom McQuinn, racer here. I mean, to give you an idea, like this is my foot next to the wheel, next to this part of the uh, car itself. I mean, that's it's almost no thicker than my, my calf right there. <laughs> That's amazing, absolutely incredible. Not street legal, I don't think, but very cool. Now I'm getting it, these things packed in here are actually the parachutes for these cars here. So you uh, you race the car, and it goes so fast, you gotta slow it down with the parachute. Huge engine sitting on top of the chassis. The, the tires are worn down to nothing, or maybe that's how they're supposed to look. That is so cool. Check out the 1948 Chevy Custom School Bus right here. You think to yourself, oh, school bus boring, right? No, definitely not. That is an amazing looking engine. Looks like a V8 right there. It should tell us uh, somewhere, it'll tell us. Uh, let's take a look. It'll go between 80 and $100,000. It is indeed a 355 8 engine, and it's the Hot Rod High School. <laughs> that is great. A lot of rows back there. You can see the dash, the original right there. A very very cool car bus. This might be the most unique car I have seen at the auction. 1964 Dracula Munster's Coffin Dragster. One of five built. Five in the whole world. Dracula born. 1367 died? Question mark. Look at this coffin right here. You sit in there. You got your little. This is your wheel. Those little handles right there. That's your wheel. Estimated to get between fifty and seventy-five thousand dollars for this one. I kind of want it, but I don't think I'd be able to drive it on the street. I love it. Look at the detail in the coffin right there. You can see the really intricate work here. And the engine right up top. That is just gorgeous. Look at this. You got Eddie Munster right there. He signed it. You got a little spider right there in front of the seats. I love the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's my favorite unique one. Maybe. The auction is back on right now. You can hear it. Lunchtime's over. Let's head on in there. Okay, now it's time to see the real car auction in action. There goes the Thunderbird. Now it's time for the 1967 Chevy Camaro. Here it comes, making its way in right now. Look at that gorgeous car. Here's the auction floor right here. We are literally standing on it as they're making their way in with the next Camaro right here. This one's going up on the auction block right now. There it goes. On standby. Next up, we've got a gorgeous Corvette here. Chevy Corvette, white Corvette making its way in here. Beautiful manual transition. They're getting it ready for the next bidder. Here comes the 2008 Chevy Avalanche. Love this pickup truck right here. You can see it. All black. 2008 LTZ model. Let's see how much it goes for. That gorgeous Corvette over there is going for $35,000 right now, but now they're for for that gorgeous Mustang right there. Here comes our Chevy Avalanche that we were looking at. All blacked out for you. 12, 15, Ask 17, 16, 17, 17, 15, 17. I got 15 for Tim. Ask him 17. That's actually a pretty good deal for that Avalanche, I think. $15,000 for that avalanche. So far, that's the most expensive one we've seen. 1955 Chevy Bel Air. It's, they're asking for $85,000 for this one. There goes that $70,000 car. 1994 Ford F-150 Lariat went for $25,000 for reference. Now, in addition to bidding, you can actually come out here and see some of the cars that are coming up soon. So you can really take a close look at them. There are clearly a lot of folks who are very experienced bidders here, but here are some of the cars that are about to make their way.
their way onto the auction block. So if you are thinking about purchasing one and you're like, oh, I'm looking around, maybe you didn't get the one I wanted, you can always come back out here, take a closer look at some of these and see another one that you might really like. I feel like this is probably going to be an expensive one right here, this uh, beautiful Sprinter van. A lot of people enjoying that van life and this yeah, this is going to go for a nice pretty penny, but my gosh, it sure is nice. Look at the back of this Mercedes Sprinter van right here. This is that door through, and you can see there's a beautiful toilet here. I mean, it's just really so, so nice. Mercedes, nice sink right up there. Gorgeous leather on top. Going around the outside here, you should see a composting. Oh, it's got the hoses. So yeah, you do have uh, the hookup here. My gosh, it's a really large one, but I think this is definitely going to be a popular one as we're uh, looking at the car auction here. Wow. Now, in addition to the largest car auction in the United States, you also got these uh, pieces of you know, furniture, you got chairs, you got workbenches here, you even got the Infinity World Best Massage Chairs, is what they're advertising right here. You can uh, no doubt purchase one right here. Very, very cool. People are trying them out right now, see if they like them. Oh my gosh, I love the memorabilia. You can purchase all of this. Oh my gosh, look at this. You got the little uh, is it a Thunderbird? Thunderbird or Firebird. $129. This little guy right here, $79.99. My gosh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, this is fun. I got the larger than life mannequins right here. A lot of cowboys and policemen. Excuse me. A lot of really, really cool ones here. My gosh, I feel like one of them's just gonna pop up and grab me in a minute. Seriously. It just feels like they're gonna they're gonna grab you in like a second. It's actually a little freaky to stand here. Open 1971 Magic Kingdom Gumball and Candy Dispenser. Is this for sale? Seriously, like I I actually might need to talk to somebody about this because this looks like a really cool antique. I'm, I'm seeing prices on some of these, right? This is $1,800 for that one. I'm guessing this already sold, but I do want to talk to them. This, doesn't that look like it could have been like in the Magic Kingdom? I don't know, but I'm, I'm seeing Disney antique and I immediately run towards it. It's been sold. So close. I went to a secret section. No, I didn't. It just said like make more cars. And I'm seeing some really unique ones. That's, that's a cool Jeep. That is a cool Jeep. This Coke one is just like, I, I can't, I can't resist. Coca-Cola Bottling Company, a 1946 Ford custom truck panel. Wow, this is awesome. That is really fantastic. You see Coca-Cola right there on the side. A real piece of American history right here. It's just so nice. And it's funny how the, these kind of cars are located right next to a relatively modern one. It's a Mercedes uh, 550. And I think, let's see, the year 2011. So yeah, relatively modern Mercedes right next to the uh, super antique Coca-Cola truck. Look at this beauty, a 1933 Ford Superstar Custom Coupe. Wow, look at that. That's just, the interior is just like perfect. It's like, it's like day of, day of interior right here. Absolutely love this car. Look at the exterior wheels. Like that's the part that's just so unique about it. We rode in a Dodge Challenger just a little while ago. And here's another one, much older one. A lot of Dodge Challengers here, but they're just so classic. American classic cars. There's so many of them. Like you want to find, like just even look at some of these cars that are like, you never see anywhere else. This is the place, I'm not kidding. Look at these signs they have for sale. My gosh, these are awesome. Four, there's a Shelby Cobra right there. That is awesome, neon. Right there's a diner sign. Polly's Gas, very cool. I love all the neon. Really feels like classic Americana here. Here's a Dodge Plymouth, wow. I'm here in the art section, you can see the kids Oscar Mayer Wienermobile car. That's so cool. Great for a younger one. I saw this one and I immediately scanned that QR code to figure out what it was going for. The It's an online auction, currently up for bid at $505, an original piece of uh, Star Wars memorabilia. My gosh, that's fantastic. This place is unbelievable. It has an incredible assortment of like signs and like kitty rides and ice cream trolleys and oil dispensers. And this is a really cool chair set. That's such a cool chair set. Just looked at it online, you can see we're actually looking at the chair set they have available and the different times you can bid for it. Let's see, you have to register to bid for this one. It doesn't show you the price. Just look at this. This is just a, an amazing candy vending machine. Again, you got the QR code so you can bid on it, but it is just, it's got a mirror right there too, which I think is pretty cool. But so many of these like candy dispenser machines, hot tamales, Reese's, Starburst. I mean, I kind of want to bid on some stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's tempting. Of course, I had to stop for this one. It's a Mickey Mouse head, but I'm wondering like how, where it comes from. So again, scanning that QR code right here. Mickey Mouse head, but it doesn't really tell us much more than that. It's part of the uh, museum collection here. 
It definitely looks cool. I'm just trying to find the uh, historical significance to it because it is just, it's a very old Mickey. It's, it looks like a 19, I'm gonna say 1960s Mickey. I don't wanna lift it up or anything, but that, that may have been used like on a set or perhaps, perhaps like to promote the parks. It's really cool. It is so easy to miss one of these uh, booths here. So you wanna make sure you do get that map and use it because this is a tent I had not been in at all and they've got some incredible neon signs here. Look, there's the Michelin Man, there's Ferrari, there's, there's the Roadrunner. What? Cobra over here? This looks like Goofy, but it's not Goofy. I, I almost freaked out. I almost freaked out. That's, uh, it's, it's not. It's, it's still nice. Poly gas, Cobra jets, paints. I mean, I love the neon. That's, of course I want that sign. I mean, who, who wouldn't want the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada sign? It's like, where do you put it though? You know, that's the problem. Check out this garage here. It's so much space off top. Oh, wait a minute, it's a miniature. <laughs> so cool. The detail, the level of detail in these miniatures is unreal. Look at the engine coming out right there. Even the dirt on the ground there. The miniature figures here, along with those clocks and signage and just, oh, I love it all. Americana everywhere. It really is an amazing experience, but as we made our way around, I got a text from uh, my friend here making auctions who was saying, that we should go to the auction stand right now. Like, we're actually hitting the gavel and just check it out. I'm like, I want to see that for sure. So that's where we're headed. The auction here is literally right here. We're going up. We're going up on the auction block. So impressive. We can actually see the auctioneer making all the moves possible. Amazing voice he has. And it sounds amazing back here. The, the volume here is so well controlled. He's about to knock down that gavel and sell one of those cars. Let's see it happen. Big smile back here, Alex. There you go. Great sale. All right. Right there, there. This is just an entire family His business. daughter's right there. This is all one big family. It's it's basically... family. When we say family, we mean family. Yeah, it's amazing. Must be so proud of all you guys. Right, this is dead right here. This is dead. That's unbelievable. 35 years of these amazing car auctions with cars that I've never seen before. Like some of these cars are so unique. They're amazing. Sold. That was unbelievable. Now we're making our way across the uh, auction block here to the catwalk. Wow. There's a Mustang coming. Wow. We just were on the block auctioning the cars. It was unbelievable. Now we're actually going up on the catwalk apparently. Going to be Indiana Jones. Go up there and see the entire auction happen. Sold, maybe? We're about to be sold, that Mustang. We'll make our way up so we can see the whole thing from above. I've just been given access to climb the catwalk here. <laughs> Here I go. This is, this is amazing. We are now up on the catwalk above the auction here. Wow. That's not a view you get every day. That's for sure. Look at this. We are all the way up here. We are checking out the auction from an aerial view. This is amazing. It's even better than having my drone. Wow. I love how we can see everything from up here. We can see the cars, the auctioneers. We can even see the stands right below us here. Wow. There it is. Make them auction right here from Sky view on the catwalk at this amazing venue. Look at this. I mean, you can even see the uh, gold mega lounge right up here. I love it. Wow. I love it. I absolutely love it. What a unique experience to be up on the catwalk here as we're watching the Make Em Auctions. Biggest auction in the United States. I love it. I can see. Look at the cars. That, that pickup truck just sold for $25,000. Look at that. Oh, it was just sold. Gorgeous car. We are high up in the air. We're just going to get one last view of the auction block. We're going to be standing over the auction block here. Just look at this. The view here. You can see that car making its way out. And there's the auction block right there in the cars over there. I love it. This is an unbelievable experience. That car is a 1964 Mercury Comet going for, they're asking 47,000 right now, and they'll get it for sure. Wow, look at this, just look at this. Unbelievable. I love it. There it is, coming into the finish line. Right now they're asking 50,000 for this Mercury Comet. Will they get it? Sold for 47,000 1964 Mercury Comet. I am just so happy to be here, I'm telling you. <laughs> 
I love it. Let's hear it. No, I didn't hear it sold yet. This is an experience unlike any other. The catwalk here at Maycomb Auctions. I will, I will definitely be back. Not just because the catwalk, but because you can feel, you can feel the excitement. Everyone around here, everybody's really excited. Like, what's that car going to go for? Even if you're not planning on bidding on anything, just being here and seeing how much they're being bid for, at least for me, is fun. Like, I'm having fun with this, I gotta tell you. This is an experience I will never forget. I will never forget making auctions. I will definitely be back. I love this. I love it so much. Making our way to our next activity, but I want to correct something. I said largest uh, auction in the United States. That's wrong. Largest auction in the world. Here, make them auctions. Now we know. Now, and I can I can see why. Like it's giant. It's got another thing wrong. It's Meekum Auctions. Meekum Auctions. Glad to be here. Off the auction block now, and we're taking a close look at some of the shadow boxes here that they have that are truly real. Oh my goodness. Certificates of authenticity and everything, including that incredible guitar. Look at that. I love these. I mean, you really feel like you're connected to the artist when you've got just so much of the memorabilia. Bruce Springsteen, look at that guitar right there. Oh my gosh, David actually has a guitar that's similar to that, very similar. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Led Zeppelin. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it all. How, how do you, how do you, I don't know, even say into words some of the, the Americana, the memorabilia, Beach Boys, what? Oh my goodness. That you find here and oh, here we go. Mom, hope you're watching. ZZ Top. Right there. I feel like I was raised on ZZ Top. Oh my goodness. I love them. I love them. All authentic. Every single piece in there is authentic and signed by the crew. Oh my goodness. I can't. Oh, Beatles. How do I... How do I resist? I feel like I'd spend all day here, all night here. Uh, no wonder it's a multi-day event. So that's the thing I love. It does go for like a week and a half, two weeks. It goes for a long period of time and it's throughout the country. It's not just here in Central Florida. They do have it here in Kiss Me and in Orlando. From, you know, they, they vary, go back and forth, but you can find these throughout the country. They do travel around, which is awesome. Taking a look, they also have uh, brochures, manuals, and books for cars who knew and some uh, many antiques. That's a really nice convertible. They also got flags over here and more lighting. Now inside the exposition sale, and there are some amazing cars in here that you can uh, you can buy just for direct price. They have one price for it, and you can buy it for that price. Of all the cars here, this is the one that truly has my attention. 1947, never heard of a Dillahav, hmm. and it's only one of seven ever made. Look at this thing. It looks like it belongs in a movie, for sure. I've never seen a car quite like this before. Notice the circular type doors. It's a kind of older dash there, but beautiful one. Got the time, got the speedometer, got all your gauges, and then back here kind of fades away into these fins. Three fins on the back. I mean, if James Bond had this car, he'd beat Blofeld in 10 seconds. It wouldn't even last that long. That is very, very cool. This 1936 Duesenberg Model J is unbelievable. This is the final show car that they have, and it is unlike any car I've ever seen before. I keep saying that, but it's true. It's no less true. The dash is gorgeous, steering wheel gorgeous, the back seat just incredibly plush. It looks amazing. Then back here in the back, they got this little area where you can store some things on the back, showing every option available. That is amazing. Check out this beauty, the 2020 McLaren Sabre. Only one of 15 made. This is number 11 of 15 ever made. What a gorgeous car, just incredible. The color tones are magnificent. Black, kind of gray, and an orange. Look at this window right here. You can actually see inside a little bit of the interior there. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous interior. I've got to tell you, I had an amazing time here at Mecham Auctions. Definitely, 100% will be coming back in the future. Just because it's so much fun to walk around, look at the cars, learn about them. I'm, I'm learning as I go here. I'm just having a spectacular time. You can see, early this morning, this whole area was full of cars. Now it's been moved to the sold lot, and then I think these have actually been sold already. So the process continues and it happens throughout the day. And it's actually longer than just one day. It's many, many days. It goes on for more than a week, I think. It's a long, long auction, a lot of cars, a lot of opportunities. You even got that special uh, Americana items that we saw earlier. So cool. Thanks so much for joining me today on this adventure. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.